Now, as summer ends, many are forecasting a more unpredictable winter than usual. Meteorologists, those around the world, agree that heat waves and flash flooding are sometimes uh, well, things that we're going to have to deal with much more frequently in the future. This comes after parts of Devon were battered by Storm Bella last winter, leading to some severe flooding and strong winds across the region that caused significant damage and disruption. It's why the Met Office, based here in Exeter, uh, is launching its Weather Ready campaign. Will Lang is the head of uh, civil contingencies at the Met Office in Exeter. Um, Will, I- explain to us what this campaign is all about. Good morning, David. Well, this is all being about being prepared, really. Um, I'll, I'll ask you a question, first of all, if I may. Have you ever been caught out by severe winter weather? Yes, um, frequently. Oh, well, yeah. increasing <laughs> uh, with increasing frequency, yes. Well, I, I think that's right. And as you said at the int- in the introduction, I think bad weather is a, is, a, is a fact of life and it will be increasingly so um, in winter. And what we've done in the Met Office, we've just done a survey of over 2,000 people all across the UK. And what we found is that a large proportion of us, that's over 40% of us, have been caught out by severe winter weather. What do we mean by that? Well, it might be just being late for work or something. I've had to change your travel plans, but even caught out by things like power cuts. And more of those 40%, more than a third of us put it down to a lack of preparation. So that's what the Weather Ready campaign is all about. It's a reminder to everyone of the simple steps we can all take to look after ourselves, look after each other and our homes and properties as we head into autumn and then winter. What are some of those simple steps? What can we do to prepare ourselves? Well, firstly, if you need all of the detail, it's all on the Met Office website. So just go to the Met Office website and search for Weather Ready. But just to give you some examples of the top tips we, we'd like people to, to bear in mind. So check your heating systems in your house. Maybe your boiler needs service. Uh, maybe uh, the pipes need a bit of an upgrade and some insulation. Outside the house, we can all check our cars as we head into winter. Are the tyres OK? Uh, Do we have enough screen wash? Perhaps we need a winter um, car kit in case we get stuck in a car in bad weather. Again, outside the home, there's weatherproofing the garden, uh, especially for windy weather. So stowing away that summer's uh, garden furniture, perhaps tying down things like the kids' trampolines. And then inside the house, we might consider things like a grab bag of basics if we get caught out in a power cut, for example, which might include um, a, uh, a torch, a spare battery charger, increasingly we all seem to be obsessed by how how much charge is on our phones so why not do that and why not make sure that we can do that when it really matters when there's bad weather around and there's another point i'd like to make david which is about looking after vulnerable neighbors um, as we head into winter and that's not just during the bad, bad weather itself maybe we can check in with them before the weather gets bad to make sure that they are also in good shape and weather ready for winter Very wise words. Thank you to Will Lang. Can I just say, best job title we've had on the show so far, uh, Head of Civil Contingencies. I would love that. I'd love that. Thank you very much for coming on to speak to us, Will. Pleasure. Well done, you.